Ah, what a beautiful day it is, and not a speck of rain in the sky. So, hey guys, I had a little bit of a brand name change. I'm now Leonixis Gaming instead of Black Lotus. A bunch of reasons, but yeah, same person, just with a different name. And moving on from there, we did defeat the Ender Dragon. I didn't record. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. But yeah, we did defeat the Ender Dragon. And well, you know, that means Elytras and flying and faster traveling, which means we can traverse the area faster and get to places that we've never been to. Also got a majestic looking cherry blossom tree. I mean, that just looks majestic. Look at that. The petals falling straight to the bridge. How nice. That's his perfect placement. Um, but yeah, just I'm just going to give a quick tour because this is going to be the ending of this village. Um, I know I said I'm going to be build the quarry all the way around, but that was too big of a project for a starter base. And I felt I should, you know, not do something that big for a starter base. So I'm going a bit smaller scale. I'm going to end it right here. It's it feels complete. It looks complete. Maybe a few changes that needs to happen there, but I'll make those. Uh, but yeah, so this is kind of just going to be a little tour before we get to the, the main dish of the video, which you'll see a bit later on. But if you're not interested in, well, the tour, you, you can skip the timestamp down below. Uh, but let's get to it. So, you know, if you've seen the previous video, you've seen the Lotus Garden, the little workshop and my disappointing looking house. Yeah, it looks nice, but it's small and disorganized so we'll close the doors and move on um coming down the part you haven't seen and i haven't showcased in any videos is the little blacksmith i built which have as a crafting table for crafting his pickaxes and whatnot and will to enchant them or fix them and a lava station where you know he needs a blacksmith always needs lava i feel and if you don't think so well that's your opinion anyway moving on to the library station which looks which looks awful i mean please feel free to leave a few comments down below on how i can improve this i mean yeah but we have a book there and you know some of the new blocks and a few books over here i really struggled with this place so we're, we're just we're just gonna turn away uh also add a little bit of filler for blast furnaces and then over the bridge we go to the mine entrance which looks plain but i feel like a mine entrance should be kind of plain i don't feel you should go to overboard with the mine entrance i mean it's supposed to support so it, the roof doesn't come crumbling down on you not look majestic with a bunch of flowers and decorations and well a little window to look out for what's going to kill you next which is going to be a creeper and a skeleton yeah it's let, let's run from there but yeah i didn't do much in in well in the way of building um a uh, few friends built here there and up there uh they built some structures um and well my other friend built this house over there with the smoke is going coming from but moving on from there you might be asking leonexus what is your next idea what are you going to do next and that my friend that will be villager trading as you can clearly hear they are loud as always in there but just not just a little structure for villagers no 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 we are planning and yes we me and my friend we are both gonna work on a fishing village you know a beautiful fishing village around here with maybe a massive fish market where we are going to do all the villager trading and they are so loud so rude but yes yeah, so this is the plan for the next thing also this is the next major plan you know building a fishing village but on the side we're gonna work on a main base yes 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 we are gonna do that and you know definitely a few farms here and there because i need sugarcane and i need rockets for my elytra um so yeah i also have a bunch of shulker boxes and stuff which i got also when i was not recording really sorry about that again but yeah so we're gonna start you know maybe flattening here and there and start, you know just get a basic layout on what we are going to do with this fishing village so yeah let's get to it and i will see you when i'm done all right so as you can hear the villagers are quite busy behind me can't stop their annoying noises but kind of you know did a little bit of terraforming 
took down a few well steps that was in and just kind of cleared things up it's gonna change it's still change over time placed a bunch of torches so the mobs can't get me because they're also quite aggressive and now it's a depressing raining day ah uh, well anyway uh so the plan is that we kind of worked out haven't placed any blocks yet just for an outline but this part over here now i don't know how deep it's gonna go in and what we're gonna do with this part I don't have an idea yet anyway but this part over here is kind of going to be the main dock so where the ships are going to dock um over here and the plan i have in my head is maybe taking down this mountain over here um uh, and or just like keep it on this level maybe and maybe do the market over here because i thought you know making a big area um right around here would look amazing the ships coming in and then selling in at the big warehouse uh, where the villagers are obviously going to be at where we can do our trading and you know they can be on their way and head off and obviously then for the future there's going to be a few houses here and there you know just to make the place more feel more like home so yeah that's the plan uh haven't done much though um so yeah i'm gonna take quickly take down that mountain um, and maybe start doing a little bit of an outline to see what we are going to work with also maybe need to start just laying down some roads so i can kind of get an idea of where we're gonna walk man this is gonna be a lot of work with the gravel though but i'll see you guys once i get to doing that depressing part in this rain all right there's night almost midnight but we kind of like took down well this mountain that was here i know it kind of looks unnatural at the moment but you know everything takes time <laughs> uh, but we kind of did a little bit of a layout i think it's about 25 by 25 which i think it's more than enough to build kind of an open type market if you know what i mean uh so basically the villagers are gonna set up stalls right about around this whole area maybe a few in the middle you know for me us to trade with but yeah just to kind of keep it a little bit of an open market type thing maybe a second story depending on if we get everything we want from them so yeah but this is what we have at the moment he's just kind of like well getting attacked by a spider <laughs> uh, but yeah so now it's mostly just kind of getting down the dock and then well dock's gonna kind of go in about two blocks of wood inside maybe more uh, which is gonna be the dock and may we'll maybe set up a few stalls just for aesthetics um here and there you know nothing that it's not gonna have a function or anything but it, it'll look like something's getting sold at these stalls so it's mostly gonna get some wood now and then maybe get set up a pathway start working on the pathway and the kind of dock area so I'll see you guys once that's complete and I hope these grow. When I place them they grow quite tall and now they're just kind of standing still. Kind of concerning, not gonna lie. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. And I just said that and now it started raining. Ah, it's so depressing. I'm going to sleep. You know, this is kind of a rant of the day because you do you know I despise villagers. You want to know why? Because I spend an hour and 30 minutes trying to get unbreaking 2. I mean, it's not even unbreaking 3, it's unbreaking 2. Er, uh, an hour and 30 minutes just to get this. What a disappointment. All right, so, um, yeah, I maybe went a little bit overboard, did a lot of things, mostly replacing, well, you can see all the gravel and the stone with beautiful cross blocks. Because, yeah, the gravel was kind of annoying me, to be honest. And, well, I also dug out this area that we're gonna use for the for the market area um so yeah now it's beautif beautifully dug out which well it's kind of gonna be dug out for a while um because this is not the first thing i'm gonna work on but what i am gonna work on is well maybe a little bit of a farm area a small farmhouse um, you know it's a fishing village but you know who, who says there can't be a little farmhouse with few crops on the back side of it right so i think this that is the f that's going to be the first addition to our fishing village uh, which i think it's a nice addition and then after that i'm gonna well do something else for a while 
and come back to this a bit later on since this is going to be a long-term project i'm not going to spend each episode working on this area but maybe working on it a little bit and building it up bit by bit but yeah i'm going to start getting getting the layout for the farmhouse or the little house for the farm farmers to work at and so on so yeah i'll see you guys when that is done all right so i did a little bit of extra replacing and i said i was going to work on the farm area but first before that i thought you know i'd really quickly go ahead and just make um make a creeper farm somewhere right because well somewhere in the ocean because i kind of want to work with my elytra a little bit because i don't have fireworks and getting dirt to fill up and just kind of fix up this whole area is kind of annoying but i did dig, i did dig out this whole part but i kind of just want to get a few more grass blocks down here and there also uh, change it up a bit i'm using phosgrass there's a f there's a few resource packs i'm using and a few mods we're using here on the server uh but nothing um, that great i mean okay zoomer is one of them and sodium with uh iris if you were wondering i'll also put the links down in the description if you guys want to go check it out uh but yeah so we're using a few mod packs here and there also a few to give mob heads and stuff uh maybe a little bit late to mention all of this uh but i'm quickly going to quick go and build a creeper farm i'll display it if when i'm finished with it because well yeah i'm not gonna build the whole thing i'm not a tutorial master i'll leave the link to the video i used on the screen right now and down in the description so you guys can check it out i'll see you guys once that is done and i got a few fireworks because filling all these parts up with dirt yeah that's kind of a pain and it takes a lot of time to gather all the dirt so i'll see you guys there all right so as you can see we finally finished it not anything special you know just your basic uh creeper farm that's empty because i was like afk up there so yeah but it's finished and we're getting our gunpowder so yeah two stacks and 50 and i have a stack on me so it's it's generating slowly but surely but that also means we can finally you know get our amazing rockets so i don't have to keep on walking and walking and walking so yeah i think it's finally time we can go finish up that amazing build over there uh, that we're start the leisure trading center well started off more like instead of finishing so yeah i am going to start grabbing a lot more dirt to like actually finish it off a bit Although, I'm pretty sure a big part of this might be a mixture between wood and cobble of, or, or wood and stone, depending on what uh, how we're going to make the dock. But yeah, it's probably going to be a mixture between wood and cobble. And I think we might build it up on this height instead of the ground. Uh, but we'll see. For now, I'm going to have to finish this up. So let's get to it. All right, you beautiful people, we have done it. We made the barn, and that is a weird head nodding, but yeah, we made the barn. I think it turned out quite well. Obviously, it looks a bit plain because I haven't done any decorating yet, but it is in, and it looks nice. I am really pleased with it. Uh, if you come into here, you know you get nothing still, but yeah, I think the inside looks pretty nice, and the outside going around looks pretty nice i must say i'm not disappointed at all and if we drop into free cam um you can see it from a little bit of a, a top-down view of how it looks i might change the normal oak planks that i've placed there kind of looks a bit weird or i might keep it just to you know give it something extra something different but yeah um the only problem i have and i'm not probably not going to change it is the fact that it's kind of a bit uneven on this side versus this side so this side is one block shorter because i came inwards with this blocks over here it kind of yeah messed with how many blocks it is so i might change that up or i might keep it like that and work around it and you know maybe things will fit a little bit better in if we do it like that but yeah for now i'm going to keep it like that until it becomes a problem or something then i might change it up up but also i have done something i made a sugarcane farm if i can just get into here i know i said earlier in the video that i didn't do much in here because i felt like you know a mine should not have any decorations but i thought 
why not put in some sugarcane? So I made a little bit of an automatic sugarcane farm. It's not the fastest or the biggest, but you know, it provides. And that's all that matters. Um, provide slowly, of course. It's been running for a while and I had nine sugarcane in there, but at least it gives something so I don't have to keep on collecting it with my hand. So yeah, but that's all I've done for now. And well, um, we're obviously going to continue now with the decoration of this. Also, my friend has been hard at work building the dock that we're going to have here. Um, he kind of went big, but I mean, big's good. We're obviously going to have really, really big ships. The market's going to be down here. When you walk down the stairway, you're going to walk straight into the market. Like I said, it's going to be open plan. So the wideness is actually perfect. But that is for a bit later on. For now, we have this thing to worry about. Um, so I'll see you once we've done something with the place. So while I was taking a little break from the building, I kind of found myself a sniffer egg. Finally, it took me ages. I have cleared a lot of them, as you can see. And well, we got our first sniffer egg. I am really hoping to find another, but with my luck, yeah, I don't know, but hey, um, I'll let you guys know if, if I'm lucky enough to find another one. So, time to go on a little bit of a wool run. We're setting up a villager trading center, so snip, 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 and snip. All right, that will do for now. I got seven white wool and four black wool. Let's go. My beautiful people, I am back. And, well, I have shaders on for now. Yeah, I won't keep it on always, but nevertheless, I finished the little barn. Um, it's not completely finished yet, but we got the villagers in. And man, was this awful. If something went wrong, I would actually go and uninstall Minecraft. This was horrible. The amount of times they jumped out or almost died or... Yeah, I, well, I, lo I also lost one that kind of suffocated in the wall. It was kind of sad, but anyway... We got them in, it's working, the trades are up, uh, two of them are still level 1, and the other two, well, are master. So yeah, we got our trades, as you can see, I am, I am, I'm going, going to pay a little bit extra, because there was a moment where I kind of just got really mad and started punching all the villagers, so they can get out of the way. But we won't talk about that, will we? But this is up. Now I'm just thinking about getting a few hay bales, you know, placing it over here and here and maybe a few pumpkins. My friend suggested a few pumpkins on the backside, which I think would be a nice fit to it. Maybe a few hay bales on, on the outside also just to make it look a little bit more nice, right? So let's get, let's head to it. And well, also I forgot to mention, I changed the kind of whole outside of it to brick and use the brick fences so it kind of looks like a door you know one of those sliding doors uh, which is just, just permanently open but that's fine you just use your imagination it's a sliding door uh, so yeah i think it turned out quite nice i'm not disappointed in it the old wood thing was kind of just lacking a lot so i'm very satisfied with how this turned out the only problem i have is this part up here which I'm not sure how to fix completely, but maybe I'll, I'll leave it like that. I don't know, um, but it, for now it doesn't look half bad. I am really satisfied of how it turned out, but let's get those last few pieces of wheat. And well, while I wait for the wheat, I might go ahead and set up a mini automatic farm somewhere at the back here, uh, but I'm not going to do a whole recording on that. I'll just show you guys when it's done. Maybe this video, maybe the next one. But yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, we finished up. Gave it a little bit of decoration inside and outside. We have a few pumpkins here, a few carved ones and a jack-o'-lantern for that extra light. And we have our hay bales over here. The place might get a little, a few changes, changes over the time because there's a few small blocks, especially hay bales and pumpkins I would like to place on top. Um, but yeah, and that is kind of it for the barn. I know it's nothing special, no animals inside or whatsoever, but I kind of just wanted the villagers to have their own theme house. So the farmers have the barn, the fishers will, ha will have their own place, the librarians will have their own place, you know. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the theme I was going for. Didn't work on the automatic farm with the villagers and the stuff. I'll work on that a bit later. And as you walk down here, you know, a few rocks here and there and um, coarse dirt and leaves and cobblestone. And onto the dock that's slowly evolving. We have a gazebo over there. I think it is. I know if I'm not, if I'm mistaken, 
Please correct me in the comments below, I have no idea what you call this, but anyway. And we have a massive tree, which kind of fits perfectly around the round corner of the dog. So yeah, I'm quite satisfied at how, how our little barn has turned out. My friend also made it, these lampposts for, for some extra lighting walking down. So yeah, but this is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do smash that like button and we will be working on a little bit on our main base in the next video. So I'll see you there. Bye.